we have 0 0.78, 1 1.8 volt. We have 1.06. This is for LCD VDD. We have 3.3 volt. This is for the backlight. We have 3.3 volt. This triangle means the connector receive the main voltage here. If I check this pin, I should find 19 volt as you can see. Please, my friends, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. And for anyone who want to accelerate learning, you can join me in my Patreon page for more content. All links in the description. And don't forget to take a look to my website where you can find very informative articles. The link also in the description. So the second step is by checking the adapter. Is the adapter deliver 19 volt or not? The black probe here and the red probe try to find if you have 19 volt or not. We have 19 volt. So the step number two is good. Now you should move on directly to the power jack. This is the power jack. Okay. Here we have the power jack. The power jack can cause a dead motherboard. You should always move on to the power jack here. Okay? Especially in the back of the power jack. Here we have the back of the power jack. Please always try to check these pins. If you have any dry, we called it a dry hair, guys. If we have a dry hair, means a not connected pin, it could cause a dead motherboard. By the way, there is other motherboard that contain a flexible power jack like this one. So don't forget to check these cables or this extension here. Check the extension. Because if there is any cut here, the voltage will not pass to the, to the board. We have the power jack, as you can see. We have the power jack and we have this diode. This diode is near to the power jack. So because we have this diode next to the power jack here, next to the power jack means this is a protection diode. We call it protection diode. Here we have this white mark here means this is the cathode and over here we have the anode. If we check the cathode, we should find 19 volt but Let's plug first the adapter. Let me plug the adapter, please. The adapter is plugged right now. This diode should hold 19 volt because this is a protection diode, okay? If this diode is failed, so this part here is connected to the ground. This part is connected to the ground and this part here we have cathode anode. Always cathode is, we, you will find a white mark like this. So cathode we have 19 volt and the anode is connected to the ground if this protection diode is failed is shorted the motherboard will be a dead motherboard so always when you get a dead motherboard always try to look for a diode like this one next to the power jack okay next to the power jack after the charge circuit the next step is by checking the 3 volt and 5 volt because 3 volt and 5 volt always is we called it always because these two voltages are always present once you plug the adapter you should get the two voltages 5 volt and 3.3 volts so let's check the first inductor we have 5 volt and 3.3 volt we find 3 volts so 5 volt circuit is good after that we should go directly to the bios we should look for the bios in the motherboard here we have the bios excuse me guys here we have the bios let's put always the black probe in the ground do you see the bios this is the bios always as I, as I told you before the bios is bigger than the mosfet so the BIOS, you should always locate the pin number 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Always the pin number 8 of the BIOS should hold 8 volt. Do you see, guys? We have here a bold line or a tick line. Do you see? Here, in pin number 8 of this BIOS, we have a tick line connected to ceramic capacitor. Here, we have ceramic capacitor, 3.3 volt. So, 
always. If you find a tick line connected to a capacitor, means that IC re received the power here. Always. The same for this BIOS, for example, we have the pin number 8 is here. Do you see? We have also here capacitor. We have a tick line. Means we should find here 3.3 volt, as you can see. Okay? So, the BIOS. Because if you didn't get 3.3 volt in pin number 8 of the BIOS, nothing will work in the motherboard. If this on-off switch doesn't receive 3.3 volt, you cannot power on the motherboard. Even if you press this switch, this is the on-off button. If this button doesn't receive 3.3 volt from this channel, yes, from this channel, 3 volt, 5 volt channel. If you didn't find here 3.3 volt, you cannot switch on the motherboard. So let's check 3.3 volt here. We should find in this button 3.3 volt. Without 3.3 volt, you cannot switch on the laptop. Let's let's connect again the adapter. Let's connect the adapter. Good. The adapter now is connected. So the motherboard is on automatically automatically switch on because the CMOS battery the CMOS battery is removed but I will switch off the motherboard now the motherboard is off good so let's always put the black probe in the ground here or here or here I repeat these steps for beginners the beginners matter in my channel because more than 50 percent of my followers are beginners so guys here we have the switch button as you can see okay we have the switch button here if i check here we have two pins here okay and two other pins in this side so if i check these pins here i have 3.3 volts also in this pin let's see this pin no this pin yes so in the other pin here in this side in this side also should hold 3.3 volt as you can see so this pin and this pin is for 3.3 volt but this pin is for ground so let's first switch the motherboard we can switch the motherboard like this by pressing by pressing this button like this the motherboard is on let's switch off the motherboard again or i can for guys that find that this switch is not working you can switch the motherboard by connecting this pin to the ground if i i touch this pin here do you see and touch the ground in the same time do you see oh do you see guys oh let's switch off again okay this pin is in the ground if i touch the pin here nothing not comes on but if I touch this one like this, on, do you see? So the switch is on when you press the switch, you shunt or you connect 3.3 volt with the ground. I can even show you, of course, using the multimeter. Let's switch again the multimeter. Let's select 20 volts. Do you see, guys? We have 3.3 volt. But if I press, please pay attention. If I press this switch Look, please pay attention to the multimeter do you see i will press right now the switch we have zero in the multimeter we have 3.3 volt press again zero in the multimeter 3.3 volt press again zero in the multimeter so this is how the power switch works so if the power switch is bad the motherboard or the laptop will not turn on so guys thank you very much i hope that you understand this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and join me in my patreon page for more unique content down now schematics and more and also you can visit my website for more articles about hardware repair Troubleshooting dead motherboards, no power motherboards, no data motherboards, tips and tricks, etc. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.